Hello, good morning from Texas, by the bay. Okay, I want to read, um, this is uh, John, John chapter 10, John chapter 10, verse, John chapter 10, verse 18. <clears throat> Jesus speaking. This is Jesus speaking. No man take it from me. He's talking about his life that he died when he died, uh, was going to die on the cross. No man take it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. So that means that God was, uh, he was on his throne and he came off of his throne to earth because of man's sin. He was the sacrificial lamb to pay for man's sins, which are wicked and evil because the sacrifices of animals couldn't pay for all of mankind's sins. There is only one that could pay the price for all of man's sins, and that is Jesus Christ. He paid for everyone's sin on the cross and died for each and every one of us, Jews and Gentiles. So that includes Arabs, Muslims, Buddhas, everyone. All they have to do is turn away and turn to Jesus Christ. And let's go to John 14 because <clears throat> John 14 and he says that find it uh, um, let me find it piece I given it to you John 14 barely I say unto you very, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the work, this is John 14, 12. And I also want to read, uh, let me start here. John 14, verse uh, 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the way to heaven, the truth. And the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. This That was Jesus speaking. So if you're Catholic. You can't go to Mary. And you can't go to the Pope. To get to the Father. You can't go to. They're not even supposed to be calling the Pope. Or the priest Father. There's no. That's. That's, that's wrong. Um, that means that they're trying to go before Jesus. They're trying to block Jesus out of the way. And they're saying, okay, we're going to go to Mary and pray to Mary. Or we're going to go to the priest. Or we're going to go to the Pope. Mm -mm. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says... Uh, John chapter 14, <clears throat> I'll read it from the beginning. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. This is Jesus speaking. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. 
and whither I go ye know, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we knowest the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So the only way you can get to the Father in heaven is through Jesus Christ. You can't get there any other way. No Muslim, no, what do they call them? Allah, a Buddha, that Hindu, whatever. No. No. Jesus is the only way. I am the way. The truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So X out Mary. X out Pope. X out priest. That's it. If, if ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. So that's saying... Jesus is God in the flesh. So he came to earth and <clears throat> he um, led a sinless life and he came to earth to save people from hell, which we all deserve hell. Um, but God, Jesus didn't want people to go to hell so he came here and was brutally sacrificed on the cross so people wouldn't go to hell so if you're living in sin and I'm gonna say the word gay LGBTQ homosexual lesbian um, it's wrong and you need to repent and repent means to turn away repent does not mean saying you're sorry not the sorries of all the sorries we could say is not going to get us to heaven the only way we can get to heaven and be with Jesus Christ forever is calling upon the name of the Lord which is Jesus Christ and asking him to come take over our life asking him to give us the Holy Spirit and changing us because we can't change ourselves human flesh can't change our your yourself you can't change we can't change unless you have the Holy Spirit and God will give us the Holy Spirit if we believe in him and we ask him and we we change because he changes us so i'm gonna read john this is john still in chapter 14 verse 27 peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the world giveth get not as the world giveth give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and I come again unto you. If he loved me, ye would rejoice because I, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes to pass, that when it comes to pass, ye might believe. Verse 30. Hereafter I will not hereafter I will not talk much with you for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me for the prince of this world cometh and have and hath nothing in me so the prince of this world cometh that's Satan but that I but Verse 31, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me command, even so 
I do. Arise, let us go hence. Chapter 15. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine. Ye, ye, are the branches he that abideth in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me ye can do nothing verse 6 if a man abide not in me he is he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Verse 8. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples verse 9 as the father hath loved me so have i loved you continue ye in my love verse 10 if i keep my if i if ye keep my commandments ye shall abide in my love even as i have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love Verse 11, these things have I spoken unto you, my might, might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Verse 12, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Okay, I wanted to go to Corinthians 2. Because um, <clears throat> I want to speak about the rapture since we're so close. I really believe the rapture is going to happen this year because um, Bible prophecy is it, every day you wake up, Bible prophecy <laughs> happened. Um, they're even getting ready to working. Um, they've already started working on the building the, the temple to so the Jewish People can start sacrificing their animals. But um, remember when, I don't know if, if you saw the article about they were chipping away at old stone. Well, they haven't physically with, with started building it, but they have everything in preparation. I, I, I think they even have the red heifer to sacrifice, but they don't know that Jesus was a sacrificial lamb that paid for all of their sins. So when they get their third temple rebuilt, take this to the bank because they're going to rebuild their third temple and they're going to resume um, sacrifices of animals there. And, um, and this will be after the rapture of the church um, because we're, we're not going to be here when they uh, rebuild the third temple. And um, the Antichrist, during the seven-year tribulation, the Antichrist um, is going to, during the first three years of the tribulation, would, will be mild compared to the last three years. But the first three and a half years, um, after the first three and a half years, the Antichrist is going to go inside the third temple and say he's, he is God. He's going to declare he's God. And he's going to be Satan incarnate and the Antichrist. We, you know, me and um, 
Jeffrey Greider and now the end begins thinks the Antichrist is Emmanuel Macron but you know looking at the other people like uh, Mohammed bin Zayed and and there's a few other uh, crown princes of uh, I don't know if he saw it I don't know his name but um, hey could be them too all right, uh, for 2 Corinthians chapter 12, um, uh, chapter 12, verse 9, uh, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Okay, let's go to verse 20, <clears throat> for... For I fear lest when I come, I shall not find you such as I would, and that I, sh that I shall be found unto you such as ye would not, lest there be debates, envyings, wrath, stripes, backbitings, whisperings, swellings, tumults. Verse 21. And lest I come again, my God will humble me among you and that I shall be well many which have sinned already and have not repented of the uncleanliness and fornication and last covetousness which they have committed okay let's go to Be prepared. Be prepared. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord was a Let's see. Let me read. You want me to read some revelations? The book of Revelation. Did you know that in the book of Revelation, the only book in the Bible that God promises blessings to he that readeth the book of Revelation? That's the only book in the Bible that God prom promises blessings. So I'm going to read chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Because the book of Revelation is prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Okay. Verse 8. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. Verse 1. Chapter 1. Verse 17. Uh, fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. Let's see. This is uh, chapter 2, the book of Revelation. This is chapter 2, verse 17. He hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written that no man knoweth, saying he that receiveth it. Chapter 3, Be watchful in strength of the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard, 
and hold fast and repent. Repent means to change. If therefore thou shalt not watch, watching for the rapture, watching for Jesus' return, I will come, up, come upon thee as a thief, and thou, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So we're supposed to be watching every day for the return of Yeshua Jesus in the clouds. Because he's not going to actually come and touch down. He's, you're going to hear the trumpet blast. And he's going to descend in the clouds. And he's going to call up those who are alive. First, the dead in Christ are going to rise. So the people that died and died in Christ, that believed in Je Jesus Christ, for their sins and and believed in him only they're going to rise first the dead in christ shall rise first and we which are alive and remain will be caught up so that's the rapture uh this is chapter 3 verse 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience I will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. That's the rapture promise. I'll read it again. verse Chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. To try them that dwell upon the earth. So if you're not raptured up. You're, you're going to go through hell on earth. And an, this is verse 14. And, the angel, and, and to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write. These things saith the amen. The faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of god yeshua himself is the first witness okay uh now this is chapter four this is uh john speaking concerning the future chapter four after this i looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which i heard was as as it were a, of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and i will show thee the things which must be hereafter and immediately i was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne that was yeshua jesus god and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. I bet that was a beautiful sight. Verse 4. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white remnant, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Okay, I'm going to still be in chapter 4, verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things. And for thy pleasure, they are and were created. Chapter 5, verse 12. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Okay, I wanted to read to you um, a 
about the strong delusion. Uh, I, let me get to it. I'm going to finish up with the strong delusion um, that God's going to send upon, uh, He's going to send to the earth because the people that, um, the people that we're spreading the gospel to and they don't want to receive, oh my. Okay, I'm going to finish this up in a later video.